Hey guys, I hope that you're all well and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about autumn winter 2018 trends. I am so excited for autumn to come. If you guys couldn't already tell by my Zara haul and what I've been popping up on Instagram lately, I am ready for this season. I feel like it's one of my favourite seasons. Colour wise, I feel like it really suits me and I just enjoy layering, I enjoy being snuggly. And I feel like in the UK and in London, it's probably one of our most worn weathers because I feel like I'll wear it now, kind of September, right until April, maybe even May time next year. So we have it for a long time and I love to invest in some really good pieces, especially because I feel the cold. So today I'm gonna to be going through the trends and I think I have about 10, I might have a few less, but what I'm gonna do is talk them through. I think I have kind of not consciously picked the ones that I kind of favor. Obviously there's loads out there, loads on the runway, loads that come back each year. And I've picked 10 kind of of my favorite ones, the ones that I know that I can wear, the ones that if I invest in, I know that I can bring them out probably next season and the season after that as well. So we're not just talking throwaway pieces for this year. Some of them might be slightly, I mean, I think everybody now and then picks up things which probably a little bit out of their comfort zone and don't last, but most of these I hope that you can be investing in and absolutely loving. So we're gonna start off with number one, which is animal print. Now this is one that I talked about in my Zara haul. It is absolutely everywhere at the moment. It's probably the one that I've seen the most of. And I can't lie, it's probably the one that I've been most scared of. I've never really been an animal print girl. But I think that I've finally found my way with it. I've been searching around recently for some bits and I found some pieces that I think I can fit into my wardrobe quite nicely. Now also I'm gonna show you a few bits which may have been in my wardrobe for a while or any bits that are new. I will show you cutouts of how I style them, how I put them together. As always, they'll all be linked below. I'm size eight to 10, so if they are old, I'll try and put alternatives and bits like that. Now, on the catwalks, animal print was a mixture. We usually see animal print as a neutral, so the kind of real tones of the animal, but we were seeing a lot of bright colours, a lot of mixing. That's not so my side, I do think it's so fun, and if somebody brings out a colour that I absolutely love, then I probably would invest in it this season, but I've gone for more of the neutral tones, it's just a bit more of my style. There's been loads of leopard and zebra, and these are the pieces which I've decided to invest in. So, number one is this bag from Jaeger. It is absolutely beautiful quality. I think with animal print, if you can just add a few accessories into a very plain outfit, you can make it work quite easily. So with this one, I think I'll probably style it up with a totally camel outfit or a totally black outfit and just add this as a little accent. It's actually just leather on the back. It's really soft, it's really beautifully made. I think that this would be lovely for an evening. And actually, funny enough, I had a bag like this from Topshop years ago. I don't know if any of you guys may have invested in it too, but we're probably talking years. And I wore it and wore it and wore it and wore it. I wore it so much, my friends always borrowed it. So when I saw this one, I thought, you know what? I think I will get a lot of use out of that. Now, what we also saw on the catwalk a little bit was a very sophisticated tone of animal print. And I fell so in love with these. These are actually from Zara, and I feel like they were my tones, quite muted, not that really like harsh black color. And I thought that this would very easily fit into my palette. I think that I'll probably wear this with something blush maybe, because there is a little bit of blush in it, to make it a bit more feminine and a bit more pretty. They're quite wide leg, they've got this little hem at the bottom. And I think that these would be gorgeous for adding a bit more of a staple. I think that you could bring this out year after year. And also, if you are a little bit feminine and you're a little bit scared of the trends, I think that this would be a very easy way of adding it in. And then all of my animal print actually this year is new because as I said, I really didn't wear a lot of it past years. So I picked up this one. And again, I thought that this one could work beautifully for me. It's in a lovely nude tone. And what's quite nice about it is that it's not that real kind of animal fur looking piece. Because it's in a nude, it's quite graphic. The print on it isn't totally true to the animal. And I love that about it. It looks just like more like a print if you see it from a distance. And it's just a really oversized kind of shirt. Again, I think this, this would look gorgeous with so many pieces, perhaps just a pleated skirt or some really simple tailored trousers. Perfect piece also to wear kind of to work or at the weekend, dress it up, dress it down. 
I'm actually really excited to see how I can incorporate animal print a bit more into my style as the season goes on and what else people bring out and see if I can become an animal print lover because I think I may. Trend number two and probably one of the ones that I'm most excited about is the colour tones and they are earthy. We saw loads of this in summer but it's definitely been taken through into autumn which I'm so excited about. So I think anything like kind of chocolate brown to like rusty or clay colours and camels like sandy camel colours and also forest green. Some of my favourite colour palettes. And you guys saw that I actually picked this one up in H&M with a come shopping with me. I think I also wore it in a video and it's actually back on the H&M website. So you guys can now pick that up, I will link it below. And I think it's a really feminine way of adding that brown tone into your wardrobe because sometimes I think brown can be hard. It was one that I looked in my wardrobe and thought that I'd have loads of it in there. And when I looked, I didn't have any brown. So I'm on the lookout for more. If you guys see anything brown that you think I'll love, definitely let me know below. And the next one which I'm really happy about is that kind of rusty color because I picked up this jacket from Karen Millen probably three to four years ago now. And it's back, it's back on their website, which I was so happy to see this season. It's a lovely color. I've worn it so much for an investment piece. I think I might have an Instagram of me wearing this one, so I'll put it somewhere on the page. I wear it a lot with like a white crisp shirt, denim, and then dress it up a bit more in the winter. I've actually worn it under jackets as well. It is so warm and a piece that I think is well worth investing in. Another piece in that kind of color tone is one that I've picked up this year, which is this one, which is brand new from ASOS. I actually picked this one up because I've been seeing loads of corduroy. I feel like that's another trend. It's not one that I've included, but definitely seeing loads of corduroy in the shops. And I thought this was lovely. Love the color, quite like that it has a little bit of sheen to it. I feel like this will be perfect because I can wear it now with some sandals and then also if the knee boots or tights later on in the season. Obviously a lot of things as well, a lot of things that I talk about actually incorporate more than one trend. So this will be the earthy tones and the corduroy. Think that I'll get so much wear out of that one, I hope so anyway. And the last piece for this one is this jumper here, which you guys will have seen in my Zara haul. I have so much camel. I absolutely love the colour. I have it in coats, trousers, t-shirts, jumpers, you name it, scarves. I have got it in camel. I think it's the chicest colour. It comes out every single year. You can wear it with anything. I feel like it suits every colour tone. Can you tell that I absolutely love it? I do think that it's just such a classic piece that it's a no-brainer for buying for your wardrobe. So you may be seeing a lot of this kind of shade coming around on this channel over the next few months. Number three is also one that I'm really in love with and that's tweeds and checks. I've actually just combined these together but they're kind of two separate trends that were going around on the runway. A real kind of heritage classic look which is obviously something that I'm all about. I have one piece in my wardrobe which I think isn't quite a tweed but I quite like it because it's got the effect of a tweed look and it is just this really simple white jacket. Again, this is quite nice if you like the neutral tones and you don't want to quite invest in something darker or more masculine, you can get something quite feminine. This one's really pretty. I love how it has the frills over it. This was last season, so I'm not sure if they'll bring something out like this um, again this year, but again, it's that kind of like dress up, dress down piece and a way that you can bring a trend into your wardrobe without going too over the top with it. My next two pieces I actually picked up this season, but this one was in a sale, and I think from last season in Jigsaw, I picked it up for £20, and it was an absolute bargain. But I think that skirts and checks and tweeds are gonna be huge this autumn. I've actually seen one in mint velvet, which is much more of a pencil skirt, and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I love how traditional they look, how kind of cozy, really my kind of vibe, um, but I think that this can also look pretty young as well with bare legs and stuff right now. This next one, actually, I think you guys may have seen in a video. I adore it. I think the colours are gorgeous. Kind of the mustard with the brown and the black and the lovely tortoiseshell buttons. It is a little bit schoolgirl, but again, I think that it suits a style where if you want to have a bit more of a fun outfit, it's actually really flattering on, much more flattering than I thought it would be. I've worn it loads already because I just feel so comfortable in it. And for me, anything that I feel comfortable in goes. I can't wait to wear this one with more of a polar neck as it starts getting colder and some tights and over knee boots, kind of dressing it up with a coat. I think this is going to look gorgeous, gorgeous in the next few months. Number four, and a trend again that is my kind of style, quite a classic trend, is silk. It was seen really flowy, kind of layered it up on the catwalks, and I just think it's the most beautiful fabric. Obviously, silk isn't actually that practical, and it is really expensive, so we're seeing it a lot more on the high street as satin. I have a lot of this in my wardrobe. I love it because I feel like you can dress it down if you're a bit scared of silk, because you think it's just for an evening or a little bit more formal. 
you can dress it down, you can wear it with denim. I wore it in my Come Shopping With Me video with a denim skirt and a blazer, so it's kind of casual, smart outfit. And I've got loads of these, so kind of going on the casual side, this one actually is uh, was folded, so I'm afraid you can see the um, folded lines in it. This is one I got from Mango. It was in the sale, so they might not have it on their website still. But I wear this kind of t-shirt quite a lot. I love that it's got this really feminine, flowy, smart front to it, but then on the back it's actually just a jersey, so it's much more practical for wearing every day. This one does wash really nicely, and it's just perfect for giving that kind of I've made an effort in the morning kind of style. So that's a really easy way to add it to a more casual outfit. Obviously silk is also lovely for an evening and probably one of my favorite pieces that I've picked up. God, it's in this gorgeous mustard yellow for autumn is this dress from River Island. You guys would have seen this in one of my videos. I, I just think it's so beautiful. The way that this fabric flows is amazing. Just anything, this kind of silky satin and like a bit of a magpie, totally attracted to it. And this one does have the flowy bottom too, which has been so trendy. And if you did want to wear this one to more of a meal and not be so dressed up and not wearing heels, then wear it with some boots, some like over the knee boots, which just have a little heel and wear it with a denim jacket and it'll dress it down a little bit. And this is probably my favorite item from this video altogether. My mum has a traditional silk shirt which looks exactly like this. And I remember her saying, maybe like six to eight years ago when I was like, no, it's not, it's not for you, get rid of it. She was like, you'll want this one day. You'll want it, it's pure silk, it is stunning. And I'm so glad that she kept it. It's not this one here, but she still does have it. And it is so in the season. This one's much more of a blush color. I love the pockets, making it a little bit more masculine. This is gonna be ideal for tucking into jeans, just that kind of khaki jacket feel. I've got this one new, it's actually just out of the box this morning from Mango. I'm gonna be doing a Mango haul soon, and I can't wait because the pieces in it are absolutely gorgeous. This one's quite feminine, but I think you can so easily dress it up and make it a little bit more rugged with some leather or some like really biker kind of pieces. Really gorgeous. This is gonna be, I think, my favorite piece of the season because it is just stunning. It looks so luxurious. Something that kind of Suzanne or that kind of brand would bring out but in real silk and yeah, really so beautiful. Number five and six, I'm actually gonna wrap up kind of together and the first one is pleats. Now the reason that I'm doing this together is because Pleats and white on white, which is my sixth trend, is pretty much this outfit. So I picked this one up a few seasons ago again. We've been seeing so much of pleats coming around. Obviously the midi skirt was really, really popular and still is now. So any that you have in your wardrobe, bring them out for autumn winter. The only thing that I say is changing for autumn winter is actually the length of the skirt. We're seeing them actually to the ankle rather than just above the ankle. So that little bit longer than I think just wear the ones that you have in your wardrobe. I don't think that that's gonna matter too much, but any that you're picking up now might be slightly longer. I think that'll be a little bit harder to wear because I don't know, it might make me look a bit frumpy, a bit shorter than I actually am. So I'll probably be sticking with this length. But as for the white on white, I think that this outfit will look gorgeous together. This mango blouse is just absolutely stunning. It's got some lovely gold thread running through it and it's totally white on the back. And this would just be so chic. It reminds me of a few outfits that I did actually see on the catwalk, which I'll try and put up on the screen. And they were just so flowy and beautiful and dressing them up with loads of layers to make it look kind of more autumnal, that kind of icy feel to it. And then the other pleated skirt, which I bought last year is this metallic one. Metallic is gonna be another trend, but it isn't one that I've included. Why haven't I included it? I'm not really sure, <laughs> but the metallic of this season is gonna be silver. So this kind of vibe, this one's actually really beautiful because it's silvery gold. It's kind of in between the two colors and works really well. I feel like with these pieces, I wear them a lot more towards Christmas. So I don't know why. I just feel like at this time of the year, it looks a little bit too sparkly, but as soon as November, December hits, I'm all about the sparkle and you guessed it, this one is definitely gonna be coming out then. Number seven, you're looking at that oversized, kind of almost marshmallow coat, which I kind of love because I love being practical and I love being warm. So if it means that there's gonna be loads of jackets coming out this year, which are comfortable and cozy and warm, then I will love that. But I've gotta admit that kind of puffer style isn't so me. So you guys will have seen that I picked up this one in my last Zara haul, and again, it's kind of that traditional coat but it's quite masculine and oversized. So many of you said that you really liked it. 
I've still got the tag on because obviously I haven't worn it, it's still really warm, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be keeping this one this season, well I am because <laughs> the other stuff's already gone back. So this is definitely staying in my wardrobe, but this is perfect. I think some of you did say, is it warm enough? But this is the kind of piece where you layer it. You could put a jacket underneath it, definitely a blazer, layer it up, even have the collar up, and it will look really gorgeous. So I'm looking actually for more pieces to add to my coat wardrobe. I'm, I always do every awesome season, I buy kind of a few coats. Coats are probably my crush at awesome winter time, and I feel like because of the weather, you usually end up only seeing the coat of an outfit sometimes, which is a real shame because if you're popping into town, you don't often take off your coat or wherever you're going. Obviously you will for work and other bits, but I feel like the thing that is most seen over the autumn winter is coats. So anything oversized and anything comfy, which is just so exciting because I'm really hoping that I can buy something that is very, very warm. Number eight was actually surprisingly one of the trends that I picked up that I don't have in my wardrobe and that I would like to add a little more of. And that is really sheer fabrics. I think I don't have them in my wardrobe because I always get a little bit scared away that I'll need really good underwear and I'll have to buy something for underneath it. But what I've seen a lot of in the shops right now are these little camis. Obviously I have loads of camis. And the only piece that I had in my wardrobe, which was quite sheer, was this lovely blouse from Missoni Duty. It's a real autumnal piece because it's gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Again, quite earthy tones, but as you'll be able to see, this one is quite sheer. You can see my hand right through it. And I'm looking forward to buying a few more of these pieces and having a real layering outfit because I think it could look so stunning to have lots of really sheer, gorgeous, kind of luxurious layers. And that's what I kind of picked up from that trend. And I'm gonna be on the lookout for it because I'm not gonna be scared by sheer stuff anymore. I'm gonna try and add some into my wardrobe but make sure I have like the right kind of undergarments and whatever else I need to layer it and make it look right. But nine, and actually the one trend that I don't have anything to show you for, I'm sorry, is fringing. And I'm so excited for this one. I definitely want to get something, something very feminine. I think on the catwalks, it was really looking like lots of really long diamante. So I think it'll be nice to get something which is a little bit more evening like, but equally a skirt maybe that could be worn in the day. I'm thinking a real statement piece though. I feel like it is quite traditional and it will stay around so I don't mind investing in it a little bit and I just loved, again, as I said earlier in the video, I'm a bit of a magpie and I just loved seeing all of the glistening kind of frays as they were walking down the catwalk. So that's one that I will be investing in and I will pop some pictures here to show you what I'm talking about and if I can find anything that I'm liking, I will link it below for you. And then my last trend, number 10, would be the kind of western prairie, very bohemian style trend and I am really excited for this one. I can't wait for the dresses in particular. I've got the one that is slightly on style for it here, which is one that you guys may have seen in a Zara haul. It's a really gorgeous print. I love all of the colors over it and it fits really beautifully. This with knee high boots is gonna be a classic for me. I feel like it's gonna be that trend that I am picking out day after day in autumn, winter and wearing it loads and loads. So. I don't love any recommendations of dresses that look exactly like this. I've been looking for them. Kind of got that sheer trend too. So very sheer, very feminine, quite flowy, but also quite like prairie girl slash western. Not so much on the cowgirl side. I think I'm definitely going more towards the human side of that trend. But anything like this, let me know below because I'm going to be looking and I'll try and pop any other links of dresses for that kind of style as well. Because I think that's how I'm going to be wearing that trend a lot throughout the season. And that was the 10 trends that I'm gonna be adding to my autumn winter wardrobe and the ones that I've been following and think that I can pick out for my style. Obviously, not every trend goes for every person. There are loads of others like the logo prints. I do love the big Gucci t-shirt, but probably a bit too much of an investment for me for something that I'm not sure that I'll wear. A lot of glossy fabrics. Again, they remind me of some paint and boots that I had when I was younger and I just can't bring myself to resurface that trend right now at the moment, but maybe it is something that I'll start thinking about. Obviously other things like leather, that's another thing that's really popular at the moment. And slouchy boots is one that I am quite keen on and I think accessory wise I will be adding in. Haven't touched so much on accessories, but I will probably be popping some of those in my autumn staples video or any hauls that I am bringing up. So if you don't wanna miss any of those, do make sure to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and do leave me a comment. I love chatting to you guys about these kind of things and it means the world to me when you stick around and follow my little journey over here. 
So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys all next week for another video. Hope you have a great weekend and I will see you all soon. Bye!